Welcome to my channel Hallmarks Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Imagine a Hallmark Dream Team couple taken from Chesapeake Shores, and when calls the heart? The result is The Wedding Cottage starring Aaron Krakow. It was always you, Army Wives, and Brendan Penny. In merry measure, time for them to come home for Christmas. Best of all, it is a spring into love movie. Judith Berg, The Wedding Veil, A Little Daytime Drama, and Sandra Berg, The Wedding Veil Journey, A Christmas Treasure, wrote the script with Terry Ingram, Three Wise Men, and a Baby, Mid-Love Crisis, directing. What is The Wedding Cottage about? What do we know about Hallmark's new movie that stars Eric Krakow and Brendan Penny? According to the synopsis, Vanessa Doyle, Krakow, creates wedding guides. She is preparing for a couple who won a contest to visit a special cottage. However, when Vanessa arrives, she is underwhelmed. Moreover, things get prickly with Evan Stanford, Penny, the owner of the cottage. Vanessa is confused. Evan is an artist, but this place lacks any sort of imagination or creativity. Could there be something more going on? Now, Vanessa has to use all of her charm and empathy to get Evan out of his shell. Could a broken heart be behind his lackluster place? Can his frown go upside down? She certainly tries, and the result is something very special when he reveals whose cottage it once was. When is Hallmark premiering The Wedding Cottage? The premiere of The Wedding Cottage is on Saturday, April 15, at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. In addition, Peacock will premiere The Wedding Cottage at the same time, and it will be available to stream for the following 72 hours. Lots of laughs on the Hallmark set. Erin Krakow shared a lot of photos from the Hallmark set on her Instagram account. Brendan and Erin spent a lot of time laughing and having a great time. She captioned one photo, three weeks of laughing till I cry with this one. Hashtag The Wedding Cottage. She also used her Photoshop skills to add photos of their faces on a Daisy Cottage cheese tub. Is Erin trying to tell us that perhaps she and Brendan were pretty cheesy in this Hallmark movie? When Calls the Heart Season 10 premiering in July, everyone is thrilled that Erin Kreika will be in a Hallmark Spring Into Love movie. However, Hardys are baiting their breath for When Calls the Heart Season 10. This will be an especially exciting season for Erin's character Elizabeth Thatcher Thornton. That is because she is marrying Lucas Bouchard, Chris McNally. However, Aaron has hinted that there may be some conflict when preparing for their nuptials, but has assured Hardys that all is as it should be. That is pretty intriguing, but she has not shared much more info on this upcoming season. The Win Calls, the Heart premiere is on Sunday, July 30 on the Hallmark Channel, as well as Peacock. Erin Krakow sighed contentedly as she stepped out of her car onto the gravel driveway of the quaint cottage. The sun was setting, casting a warm golden glow over the surrounding countryside. She took a moment to soak in the picturesque scene before her. The wedding cottage, as it was called, stood nestled among towering oak trees, its white exterior gleaming in the fading light. Erin played the role of Julia, a talented wedding planner who had been hired to organize the most important event of the year the wedding of the mayor's daughter. Brendan Penny portrayed David, the charming local carpenter tasked with renovating the cottage into a dream wedding venue. Little did they know, their paths were about to intertwine in ways they never imagined. Chapter 2. Unforeseen Challenges As Julia stepped into the cottage, she couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement mingled with trepidation. The interior was in desperate need of renovation, with peeling wallpaper and creaky floorboards threatening to ruin the ambience. But Julia was undeterred. With her keen eye for design and a knack for turning dreams into reality, she was determined to transform the dilapidated cottage into a fairy tale venue. Meanwhile, David was facing his own set of challenges. As he surveyed the rundown cottage, he couldn't help but feel overwhelmed. The task of renovating the entire place seemed daunting, especially with the tight deadline looming over him. But David was not one to back down from a challenge. With his trusty toolbox by his side and a can-do attitude, he set to work, determined to exceed expectations. Chapter 3. Sparks Fly As Julia and David crossed paths for the first time, sparks flew, both literally and figuratively. 
Their initial meeting was anything but smooth, with a mishap involving a wayward hammer and a spilled can of paint. But as they worked together to clean up the mess, they couldn't help but feel a connection forming between them. Despite their differences, Julia and David quickly realized that they made a formidable team. Julia's creative vision complemented David's practical skills, and together, they began to breathe new life into the old cottage. With each passing day, their bond grew stronger, until they found themselves unable to deny the growing attraction between them. Chapter 4 Love Blossoms As the days turned into weeks, Julia and David found themselves falling for each other against the backdrop of the bustling wedding preparations. Amidst the chaos of flower arrangements and seating charts, they stole stolen moments together, sharing laughter and stolen glances that spoke volumes. But their budding romance was not without its challenges. Julia's busy schedule often kept her away from the cottage for long hours, leaving David feeling neglected and unsure of where he stood in her life. And with the wedding day fast approaching, tensions ran high as they struggled to balance their personal feelings with their professional duties. Chapter 5. The Big Day As the sun rose on the morning of the wedding, the air was filled with anticipation and excitement. The cottage had been transformed into a magical wonderland, with twinkling lights and fragrant flowers adorning every corner. Julia and David stood side by side, their hands clasped tightly together, as they watched the bride walk down the aisle. As the ceremony unfolded, Julia and David couldn't help but steal glances at each other, their hearts overflowing with love and happiness. And as the newlyweds exchanged vows and sealed their love with a kiss, Julia and David knew that they had found something truly special in each other. Chapter 6. Happily Ever After In the days that followed, Julia and David embarked on a new chapter of their lives together. With the wedding behind them, they were free to explore the depths of their love without the constraints of deadlines and obligations. They spent their days exploring the countryside, hand in hand, and their nights lost in each other's embrace. And as they stood on the porch of the cottage, watching the sun set on another beautiful day, they knew that they had found their own happily ever after. For in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, they had found love, a love that was as enduring and timeless as the cottage itself. And so, as the stars twinkled overhead and the crickets sang their lullabies, Julia and David retired to bed, content in the knowledge that they had found their own slice of paradise in the wedding cottage. Epilogue A New Beginning As the seasons changed and the years passed by, the wedding cottage remained a symbol of love and happiness for all who visited its hallowed halls. Julia and David went on to start a family of their own, filling the cottage with laughter and joy once more. And though time may march on and the world may change around them, one thing remained constant, the love that had blossomed within the walls of the wedding cottage, forever etched in the hearts of those who had been fortunate enough to witness it. And so, as the sun set on another day, the wedding cottage stood as a beacon of hope and promise, a reminder that love conquers all, and that true happiness can always be found in the most unexpected of places.